Prince Harry being removed from involvement in the Invictus Games, with the CEO choosing Mike Tyndall to lead the upcoming event instead. This is probably very painful for Harry because now he no longer receives trust from the athletes. It can be said that after leaving the royal family, Harry's career and reputation gradually declined. Now a new character appears to overshadow Harry, that is Mike Tyndall. Mike Tyndall has hired a TV executive as the CEO of his first ever winter edition of Invictus Games. He beloved Invictus Games will head to Canada in 2025. Scott Moore has forged a reputation for doing big sports deals during his time at CBC, Canada's public broadcaster. Now that the Invictus Games has expanded to hosting a winter event to its beginning to shadow both the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games and can become a major television event with the likes of Scott behind it. Mike Tyndall has the star power to drive the games and as we know it is Mike Tyndall's sweet spot and something he is clearly passionate about. Speaking about the future match, Mike Tyndall has commented, it's important to get involved in the Invictus Games to use the power of sport to inspire recovery and support rehabilitation. I'm very excited to be involved. I have seen wheelchair rugby being played before but I haven't played. I can't imagine I'm going to be very good at it, but obviously we'll bring our A-game. He continued, I'm looking forward to being part of an amazing games. Having servicemen and women from all over the globe come together and compete in sport is going to be fantastic. Dame Kelly Holmes has spoken about what her involvement in the match means to her. As an ex-military soldier, I'm extremely honored to be part of the Invictus Games. I have immense admiration for all these service men and women who have served their country. I'm very much looking forward to being part of the games and I'm sure I will be in awe of all the events and all those taking part. I wish everyone good luck in their preparation and look forward to taking part myself. Holmes was awarded an MBE for services to British Army in 1998 and was made a DBE in 2005. Mike Tyndall planned to attend a training camp one year ahead of the 2025 Invictus Games. Dot. The purpose of this week's training camp is to support nations taking part in the games to build year-round adaptive sports programs. Mike Tyndall scheduled to join the participants during some of the events at the camp Wednesday and Thursday in Whistler and on Friday in Vancouver. Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025 will host more than 500 competitors from 23 nations and is scheduled to take place February 8-16, 2025. It will be the first Invictus Games to feature winter sports, including alpine skiing, Nordic skiing, skeleton and wheelchair curling, but will also host indoor rowing, sitting volleyball, swimming, wheelchair rugby and wheelchair basketball as it has previously. Years ago, Prince Harry's sour row with the royal family has cast a shadow over the Invictus Games with some veterans questioning whether the rift is costing them support from members of his family. Some British athletes have been left frustrated as they believe their work is not being recognised by royal figures who support others competing in international sporting events. The Duke's presence is said to be appreciated but some believe that other supportive voices are missing. One official in the UK team said they felt there could be more support back home, despite the games getting bigger every year. The athletes find it bizarre but don't want to get caught up in the royal crossfire, an insider told The Telegraph. Over recent days, the Prince and Princess of Wales took part in Mike Tyndall's podcast, The Good, The Bad and The Rugby, alongside the Princess Royal and attended separate Rugby World Cup matches in France. Prince William and Kate were previously involved with the early success of the Invictus Games with their Royal Foundation which provided funding for